Homebuyers reeling from spate of builder collapses in South Australia say they are doing what they can as the state government runs a campaign encouraging consumers to do their homework before signing contract. Highlights three South Australian construction companies have been liquidated in recent months. Three South Australian construction companies have been liquidated in recent months government encourages home buyers to do their homework before signing contract government encourages home buyers to do their homework before signing contract some home buyers say they've done as much research as they can but information is limited the south australian government's consumer awareness campaign follows the collapse of four construction companies felmary homes cartro built Seven Star Construction and Commercial Construction Company Wake Concepts in recent months. The government's advice to consumers includes asking family friends for recommendations, checking references recent work, ensuring builders are licensed through the Consumer Business Services website before signing on. However, all three of the recently collapsed housebuilding companies were licensed before going into liquidation. And while Felmary and Seven Star Construction had conditions imposed on their licenses by CBS in the months before they went into liquidation, Cartro did not. Edward Gilmore's property is among approximately 20 properties awaiting completion in this housing project. Edward Gilmore signed a contract with Felmary in September 2020 more than two years before any conditions were placed on his builder's license. He was one of about 20 home buyers left in limbo at a project in Adelaide's south after the company went into liquidation. The state government recently stepped in build an unfinished access road in the area, allowing Mr. Gilmore to contract a new builder complete the work on his home. While Mr. Gilmore was extremely grateful for the government's help, he said the awareness campaign could seem condescending to people in his situation. Three years after signing the first contract, Edward Gilmore and his family began building a house. Mr. Gilmore said he also paid for a credit report on the builder. There were no alarm bells for us. We thought we were doing everything right, he said. Mr. Gilmore wants more transparency from regulators to help consumers make informed decisions. There is only so much research you can do before you buy. And this is where the regulator needs to act quickly, he said. Consumer Affairs Minister Andrea Michaels said CBS, the body that regulates builders and aims to protect consumers, was proactive in investigating complaints. Families who signed contracts for new builds at the O'Halloran Hill development in Adelaide's south are still waiting for their homes to be completed three years later. If there is a builder where we see some complaints coming in, CBS will proactively meet with that builder and review their finance.